everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here in the classroom today. For today's grammar lesson, I want to take a look at the difference between will and going to, right? So these are both future tenses, right? Sometimes they have the same meaning, okay? And there's no difference between these two. But there are many situations where it's better to use going to or it's better to use will, okay? So in this lesson today, that's what I wanna take a look at, okay? The best situations to use each one. Okay, I wanna start with going to, okay? I put the first two reasons up here why we might wanna use going to. The first one I put here is to talk about a planned activity. Okay, this is an activity that you've already arranged, right? You've already made a decision or a reservation or you've made some kind of plan. Okay, if we look at our first example, I'm going to take a vacation to Hawaii next year. Okay, in this situation, I've already made the plan, right? I've already decided that I'm going to fly to Hawaii next year, right? Maybe I already reserved my airplane tickets or reserved my hotel, something like that. So it's already arranged, so we're going to use going to. Okay, another example, we're going to meet our parents after work today. Okay, again, same thing. I already made plans to meet with my parents, right? I called them, we made plans in advance, so we all know that this arrangement is going to happen. So again, we're gonna use going to. Okay, and think about any situation where you have a plan, okay? Imagine, I made an appointment to see my doctor on Friday, so again, I'm going to see my doctor this Friday, okay? Any kind of arrangement you made. Imagine I have a new job, okay? I had a job interview and they agreed to hire me. So next week, I'm going to start my new job, right? It's already decided, it's already planned. Okay, another situation I wrote here to make predictions about the future based on evidence in the present, okay? So this means there's something in the present that I can see or hear or something that's gonna tell me about the near future, okay? I'm going to be able to predict the near future. And it's important to remember, it's usually predictions that are in the near future, not a long time into the future. Okay, an example here, look at those gray clouds it's going to rain. Okay, so again, I look out the window, I see gray clouds, okay? This is evidence in the present that soon, right, in the near future, that it's going to rain, okay? So again, I'm probably gonna use going to in this situation and not will. Okay, one more situation, one more example here. My stomach feels terrible, I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, again, my stomach, it feels really bad, so this is the evidence that maybe soon, blah, right, I'm going to throw up, right? So I'm going to be sick. Okay, one more example. Imagine my friend, he has his computer sitting on the table, but the computer is only half on the table. Half of it looks like maybe it might fall off the table, right? So again, this is evidence in the present that tells me maybe the computer is going to fall. So I might say to my friend, be careful, your computer is going to fall, right? Because I can see it's in a sort of bad position on the table, so it looks like it's going to fall. Okay, let's look at a few more situations that we need to use going to. Okay, and another situation here that we use going to, I put is for future facts, okay? So for example, I'm going to have a birthday next week. Okay, remember, this isn't really a plan, right? I didn't make this arrangement 
This is just a fact about the future, right? It is my birthday next week, so therefore, I'm going to have a birthday next week. Okay, and one more example there. My wife is going to have a baby. So again, it's not exactly a plan, it's just a truth about the future, right? So she's going to have a baby. So anytime we talk about a future fact, we can just say going to, right? If I'm going to do something or something is going to happen and it's just the truth about the future, we can use going to. Okay, but do note, with most of the same situations about future facts, we could also use will. So for example, I'll have a birthday next week or my wife will have a baby. So again, that could work, but perhaps going to is a better choice. Okay, now let's see if we can take a look at situations where we use will. Okay, the first one I put here, when we decide something at the moment of speaking. Okay, this is certainly a situation where it's better to use will. Okay, let's look at some examples. It's cold in here, no problem, I'll shut the window, right? So there was nothing decided in advance. My friend said it's cold, so my reaction or my decision in the moment was, I'll shut the window, right? Because I made that decision as soon as my friend said it's cold in here. Okay, another example there. Would you like some coffee or tea? Okay, imagine there's the waiter or the waitress is asking me this in a restaurant. Okay, and so I decide in the moment, yes, I'll have some coffee, please, right? So again, I made that decision right now, right here in the moment. Okay, let's look at some more situations where we need to use will. Okay, so in the next one here I wrote, to express degrees of certainty, often with the following words. Probably, I think, or I don't think, maybe, sure, and so on. Okay, so with words like that, where it shows that we're really certain of something or not so certain of something, or again, that I think something, so that's my opinion, or I don't think something, we often use will. Okay, so for example here, here I'll probably stay at home tonight, right? So again, my degree of certainty is not 100%, but in this case, it's probably about 80%, so I'll probably stay home tonight. So again, we often use it with that word. Okay, another example, she doesn't think she'll go to the party. Okay, so again, we've used it here with doesn't think or don't think. So with those kind of words, we'll use will, right? I think I'll meet my friends tomorrow, right? Again, I'm not really sure, right? Or maybe I'll go to the shopping mall today. So again, there's a degree of certainty in there, so I'm gonna use those together with will. Okay, another situation for predictions in the distant future. Okay, remember, if it was in the near future, we already said we're gonna use going to for those ones in the near future. Okay, but if it's something that's much further, right, it's in the distant future, for example, they'll win the championship someday, okay? So again here, someday, so that could mean many, many years into the future. So someday they'll win the championship, but it might be a long time from now. Okay, another example, how's my sickness, doc, right? Okay, and that means doctor, right? How's my sickness, doc? You'll feel better in a few months. So again, it's a pretty serious sickness, it's going to take a few months to get better, so you'll feel better in a few months, okay? So again, things in the distant future. Okay, and another situation I put here for promises, okay? Anytime you make somebody a promise, it's much more common to use will in that promise, okay? So for example, I'll never lie to you again, okay? Imagine I'm telling this to my girlfriend or my wife, or somebody like that, right? I promise you I'll never lie again, right? So again, that's a promise. Okay, and one more example there. I'll help you with your homework tomorrow. Okay, so I'm making you a promise that I will do this tomorrow. So I'll help you with this tomorrow, right? If my friend needs help moving, right? Maybe he's moving to a new apartment. I can say, I'll help you move next week. So again, I'm making a promise to my friend. 
Okay, we have a few more situations where we can use will. Let's take a look. Okay, so a few more situations here. The next one I put for requests or offers, okay? Let's look at some examples of that one. Will you help me for a minute, okay? So I'm making a request of somebody, right? Will you help me, right? Will you come here for a minute, right? Will you look at my essay, right? So if I wanna request something, if I wanna ask somebody for something, I'm commonly going to use will. Okay, another example, I'll lend you some money if you need it, okay? So again, here, I'm making an offer. I'll help you, I'll come down and meet you, right? So I'm making an offer to do something. So again, in that situation, I will commonly use will, okay? All right, another situation I put here in tag questions. Okay, remember a tag question is when you put a little bit at the end of it and the grammar usually matches up with the beginning. So for example, you won't come to the meeting, will you, right? So you won't and will you are sort of a set, right? They work together. So again, with going to, we won't be using it in the tag, right? Okay, another example, she'll be okay, won't she? Okay, in this case, we've got will in the negative, but we're still gonna use it in the tag question. So she will, won't she? Again, those are a set. Okay, and one more situation where we commonly use will, I put here to express something that is a necessity, okay? Something that you have to do. Okay, I put an example, you'll get a parking ticket if you park there, right? So in this case, it will be necessary for you to pay this parking ticket if you park in this place, right? Maybe this place is a no parking zone, right? So you'll get a parking ticket. You'll have to pay a parking ticket. Okay, and one more example, he'll have to take the course again if he fails the test. Okay, so again here, that's gonna be a necessity in the future, right? If he fails the test, he'll have to take the course again. So it will be, it will be necessary or it will be mandatory for this person to take the test again. Okay, so those are most of the situations where we commonly use going to and we commonly use will. Okay, just keep in mind that a lot of native speakers will not always use these properly. But I would say in general, these are the best rules to follow when deciding if you need to use going to or you need to use will. That is the end of today's lesson. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.